Hello YouTube, my name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Today I'm participating in a new challenge. It's let's use paper bags. <laughs> it's a hashtag let's use paper bags. It's an open collaboration hosted here on YouTube by two lovely ladies. There's Susan from Susan Hiles Art and Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I'll have links to their channels listed in the description box below. The first week of February, Susan and Sherry introduced us to the challenge. Now this week, February 11th, we are challenged to decorate or make a bag. <laughs> I don't know how to make a bag, not yet anyway. So I chose to decorate one. I have in my stash a number of craft colored bags, but I decided to work on this white one because it was familiar to me. I'm not used to working with craft or brown paper yet. The first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom of the bag. I'll glue two sides so that it creates a little pocket. Next, I'm going to try folding it in half and burnishing it on both sides. And then because I had my washi tapes out to mark out my filming area to make sure I stay in frame, I decided to get some washi tapes out and start playing with them. I did not expect to have a paper bag full of washi tapes, but that's what developed and it turned out to be so pretty. With the washi tape, I tend to put it down in three spots on both sides and there's a lot of footage of me doing this. So I'm going to speed this up and I'll, I'll talk again at the end when I've got all the washi tape laid down.
I forgot about the pocket I made so I have to slice and cut through some of the washi tapes to open it back up. Washi tape is notoriously not sticky. In fact, some of it's already curling up. So I'm going to take my collage glue, which is a mixture of matte Mod Podge and water, and I'm gonna put down a layer on top and make sure everything sticks. I love how it feels. I can't stop touching this project, but the side flaps were a little annoying. I didn't quite know what to do with it, so I decided to just glue them closed. On both sides, I just lifted up that wide flap and put down a layer of collage glue and smushed it down. I mean, it's not going to move after that. I'm treating this paper bag now like it'll be a signature in the future project that is happening later on in February wherein we are challenged to make a bag journal. So this looks like it might be a signature for me and that's kind of exciting. I'm going to glue down the flaps on the inside so that when I tuck a project into it or tuck my hand in there, it's not impeded by the flaps. And I'll continue to lay the washi down with extra collage glue to make sure everything is going to stay where I want it to. This is such a fun project to touch. I really like folding it back and forth and burnishing that edge. Because I don't have a circle punch and I do want that little half circle area, I just use my scissors for now.
And I love this project. It turned out to be so much fun and it's super pretty. I love looking at all my washi tapes like that. I'd like to thank Susan and Sherry for co-hosting this wonderful collaboration. I'm looking forward to next week and I hope you are joining us. I look forward to watching your video soon. And with these close-ups, that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching. I encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.